Order for Jorge. Thanks. Take it easy. Jorge! It's trivia night! Can't tonight. Have fun. Tickets here. Front row tickets. Great price. I'm good, thanks. Nope. Jorge, hang later. Hey, next time. Hey, sure you don't want to come? Sure you don't want to stay? From western painted turtles to Chinook salmon to migrating birds, Metro Vancouver is the steward of one quarter of the region's land base, protecting 65,000 hectares of sensitive ecological areas. This 18-month-old western painted turtle is enjoying a swim in Alder Grove Regional Park. This is his very first time swimming in the wild. Up until today, he lived in a tank at the Greater Vancouver Zoo, where he was raised by members of the Coastal Painted Turtle Project. The project is dedicated to protecting western painted turtles. This endangered species is the only remaining freshwater turtle native to BC. Every spring, the group releases baby turtles into several of Metro Vancouver's regional parks. More than 400 turtles have been released to date. 8782? Each has its own microchip. Yep. 
The beach at Aldergrove Regional Park was built specifically for turtles to help give them their best shot at reaching their 60-year life expectancy. Members of the Coastal Painted Turtle Project check up on the turtles daily in the springtime. On this evening, Amy Mitchell and Deanna McTavish find a female turtle on a main path. She's been in the parking lot? Yeah, she, she was. was in a parking lot. She really wants to try to nest in there. She was born in the wild, so she doesn't have a microchip. Here you go, Mama. They know Turtle 134 very well. She is about 30 years old. Last year, she nested near the parking lot, and now she keeps going back there. Deanna and Amy encourage her to nest and lay eggs on the turtle beach. But Turtle 134 is not cooperating. She heads for the lake so that she can swim across it to the parking lot. A different turtle, number 179, laid eggs on the beach during the previous evening. Like other mother turtles, she will cover the eggs with dirt and return to the water. The baby turtles will hatch in approximately 72 days. On a river in Metro Vancouver's Capilano water supply area, staff are in the 13th season of a program to catch and release young coho and steelhead salmon known as smolts. This rotary screw trap has a rotating cone suspended between two floating pontoons that safely funnels migrating fish into a holding tank. The trap is pulled to shore and the fish are collected. At the Capilano Reservoir, a different trapping technique is in use. Six trap nets are set up to catch the smolts. The timing of the smolts out migration period is based on water temperature and daylight leading to a short window to catch the fish. On average, 20 to 30,000 out-migrating coho are caught and released each year. Using a specialized vehicle, the coho and steelhead are transported below the dam and safely released near the ocean. The time the fish are released is dependent on how many fish are caught or the tides. These fish will head into the ocean and return to the Capilano hatchery in a few years as adult coho and steelhead salmon. Then they are brought above the dam by Department of Fisheries and Ocean staff. The fish that make it back to the Capilano water supply area to spawn will ensure the biodiversity of the region and the health of its water supply area. Metro Vancouver also works to protect animals that fly instead of swim in Dees Island Regional Park. Here, biologists are gearing up to capture and tag two species of small brown bats. As many as 3,000 bats live in the attic of a heritage house called Bervilla in the park. It's late morning and the bats are resting, which makes it easier for the biologists to capture them. 120 bats are carefully placed in their own cloth bag. These bags are then moved to another park building and hung on a clothesline. Hanging them up gives the bats space to be comfortable and prevents overheating. The two different... Yeah! Welcome everyone to more art time with Kaisa! Hello Blue Dragon, welcome, welcome! I hope you guys didn't have to suffer too much of the ads from YouTube. But yeah, um... Oh crap, I didn't update the background because uh, I have a new announcement uh, on October. Hang on, let me see if I can put that up here <laughs> real quick here. Uh, give me a sec, give me a sec. Oh, did I delete it? Oh my god, I hope I didn't delete it. I, I, I did delete it. I am full. I delete things that I should not delete. I should not have deleted way sooner than I need to because I'm an idiot. You know, I'd be dumb that way sometimes. <laughs> All right. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah, let me move it to the right. There we go. <laughs> This is so not scuff, you guys. This is so not scuff at all. Um, yeah, as you guys can see, it is a Dead by Daylight collab between Magical Mira, myself, Zombro, and Night Raven. Um, 
we have been planning this collab for a while. We finally figure out the date. And we're super excited to do this with everybody. Um, I think it'll be super fun because I haven't played Dead by Daylight super long. Um, it's not really a game that I play. <laughs> I don't know if you guys see my channel, but uh, it's not really that kind of vibe. <laughs> but yeah, so the four of us are going to venture into the realm of... Um, murderers and murdering people and each other and it's gonna it's gonna be great it's gonna be great you guys it's gonna be super great wait why is it not <laughs> okay there we go <laughs> i thought i moved it over didn't okay there we go now it's moved over properly but yeah be excited for that um that's of course the day before halloween it's at 6 p.m. PST, 8 p.m. CST, and 9 p.m. EST. I have also posted up on Twitter, so if you guys want <laughs> to not not take a screenshot of this, but like actually have some something to look uh, look at, remember to mind yourself. It's going to happen. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Go on to Twitter. I'll be right there. And uh, yeah, without further ado, let us continue on with our art. Woohoo! So we finished the mouth yesterday. We actually form a smile, I believe. Oh, apparently, hmm. I kind of want to redo the forms or even just opening and closing. I think maybe I should have done the form and then open and close because then I would be using same parameters, but then it would be moved over. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? Huh, or maybe not. I think I would have to do this the same way either way. Because <clears throat> I don't want my makeup to look weird in that place. make this happier actually okay so I'm back to making the mustache guys I'm back to making the mustache <laughs> but uh I'm actually gonna stretch this out here this way and this is gonna look terrifying for the first little bit I think this, this looks very unnatural. <laughs> Doesn't this look very, very unnatural? Oh my god, okay. Going back, going back. Nope, 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 nope. I think I stretched it out too much. That's to come down this way. Come up this way. Mm, there, I reveal my fangs. <gasps> there we go. Hang on. Uh, I need to tuck this in a little more, I think. Does this actually look reasonable? What's definite? No, stop that. <laughs> we've, we've run through that before already, Blue Dragon. We've run through that already. Thank you. 
<laughs> Alright, so... There we go. I don't want to make it too obvious, but like, I do want to stick to like... My current aesthetic, you know what I mean? Like, I have that thing going on. With the mouth. You know, let me make my current mouth. Huh. I think that mouth works with my current style, but maybe not this style. Hey, let me try. I mean, we should always try, right? We should always just try. Try so hard and got so far. In the end. Doesn't even matter. It would suck if it didn't matter in the end. It was just like it all just sucks. Like I think it's more circular. I think my current mouth. It's more circular. And also I have a more defined outline for my mouth because I made the lip darker, but I didn't want it to be that dark for this one, so. I don't know, maybe I'm paying the cost for it. <laughs> now this looks like a regular mouth. I think maybe instead of trying making the bottom bigger, just make... Yeah, just put the shape of the mouth like this instead. That works. Yeah, so there you go. Now there's a more diverse, like, appearance change. Do you know what I mean? By appearance change? Like, it looks different now. That's the point. <laughs> uh, by the way, by the way, I put the captions on. Oh, shoot, I'm running out of water. Yeah, I'm still suffering from the symptoms of the... Of the vaccine shot, because, uh... I don't know. I don't know why this time is so weird. The first one, like, I had no reaction to it. My second one, it was, um... Um... What do you call it? It was just the arm that was sore and that was it. Like, nothing else. Um... Happened. Like, nothing... Um, interesting happened, but then with this one, hmm, maybe I should go back in later and then change this up a little bit. I think, I think this was a mistake. I think cur curving inwards is probably a better idea. Like, that was too wide of a smile and that kind of freaked me out a little bit. Now it looks like I have a mustache though. <laughs> I keep changing my mind about things, but that's kind of like part of the art process is just... Doing a thing going, eh, actually I like it before better. I think something's going on with the mouth rig here as well. I'm gonna go back into the mesh and I think I'll fix up this side because something's happening on this side. I'm not happy with it.
Okay, I think I'm just gonna start over. Uh, I'm gonna start over by fixing this bit here. When you're not happy something, work on it until you are happy with it. Okay. Oh. This is the neutral expression, this is the smile. Just if you recall the original neutral face. By the way, Blue Dragon, how is your symptom? Because I know you you got your um your taste buds and your sense of smell back. Were there any other symptoms that you notice? make my lips a little poutier because like I'm frowning I'm upset you know I'm upset just a small cough every now and then hmm well I am happy for you um, I saw your tweet like <laughs> when it happened I think you're like well you got COVID I was like oh no <laughs> thing is like a lot of people that I know, like when the first COVID first started started up, like everyone was hiding and everything, right? So not a lot of people that I know of caught it. But then, as soon as um, you know, we all got cocky, <laughs> uh, started back up again. Not saying that you're cocky or anything, Blue Dragon. I'm just saying like we're trying to open up industry a little before we're ready I feel like at least I feel like we need to be patient and wait out the storm before forcing people back into work how did it happen do you know was it like your co-worker that passed it to you like one person caught it and then everyone else caught it <laughs> seems to be I mean that's how viruses spread right like it's so good at spreading itself um, because that's how it evolves. Like, the deadliest creature in this world is the smallest. Because <laughs> it's undetectable, it's intraceable. And how do you fight against something that's so well hidden? Right? That, that's difficult to do. It just happened one day. Damn. Those germs, man. They don't want to leave us alone. <laughs> Honestly, I can't wait for COVID to be done. If it'll ever be done. I know there's talks about how it's... It's never going to stop. And yeah, I guess it's um, a little scary. With how... Um, little amount we still can seem to do in terms of uh, quarantining it, but I think so far in the last few years, we did not a too shabby job, right? I mean, it's not like you were licking toilets or anything, right? <laughs> I assume you were not. I assume you were not a degenerate. 
But yeah, it still happens. We're still doing our best, and um... Just gotta go with the flow sometimes. Like, sometimes the universe just does what it does, you know? Can't really... Stop the flow of time. That's just not a thing that the universe does. <gasps> I'm looking at my own model right now to kind of like see if there's a difference and I think it's more rounded like has has more of a happy shape you know circle is a much more happy shape I see. That's not teeth. That's just the tongue. Here we go. Weird. happen when they probably yeah <sighs> that's the thing with viruses they spread themselves so easily and we don't know we don't know if we caught it until we caught it it's the invisible danger Whoa! invisible danger the world is so scary okay now we're going to do a frowny face So I'm just gonna pull this down, pull this side down. Pull the down.
I'm just gonna lower the teeth down this way instead. Okay. For reals now, we're done with the mouth. And we are going to go and turn the head now. Alright, everybody. Time to turn the head. This is why we were working so hard on the face wrap yesterday. <laughs> and doing the pinpoints and stuff. Okay, so first... Actually, I'm going to save the X angle for last. And we're going to do it with the Z. That's right, we're going to go backwards. <laughs> and you're going to see why. So first we're going to do face rotation. Oh my god. So holding down control, I can move this around. If I don't hold down control, then this happens. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Beheaded Kaisa. Okay. So we select the rotator. Tilt to the right. Degree, we want it at... Can you guys see the degree? We want around 15 degrees. 15.1. Uh, yeah. There we go, 15. Then we tilt to the left. Or the other way, rather. Our left, her right. Yeah, and we want the same degree, around 15 degrees. Okay, we go over a little bit. It's not that important for it to be perfectly... The same. It's ideal though. <laughs> you do. Okay. And now we want oops. The Y angle up here. Y face warp. Uh Go. Why is it down there? Again, holding down control. Move up. Yeah, hold down control, otherwise it moves the whole thing. I gotta listen to my own advice, man. <laughs> Okay, so this head warp actually, if you look over here, it actually covers up everything, including the hat. I'm actually going to take the hat, um, base and bells and everything, and I'm actually going to take all of this and put it outside um, of the face Y warp because I don't want this interfering with the head turn. Actually, do I not? Oh, I'm gonna put it separate. I'm gonna separate it. I'm gonna do the head. Um, I'm gonna separate the warp from the head warp. Like, we're still using this parameter here, but we're just separating the warps into two different things. Down control. Be sure it's centered. Even though I pretty much fucked up the centering already. Alright, so I'm actually going to change it to 8x8. Eight eight. Do. Uh, again, up. So this is tilting the head up. I want this to go to 8 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. Oh, thank you for the 22k to the Nia stream. 
That is appreciated. Greatly appreciated. Actually, I'm going to go back here and clear it because I realize that's actually not um, quite center enough. And if we are going to be adjusting the warps, we got to make sure that whatever is in the thing is cleared. Also, I realize the ear warps are not in here. I um, guess I'll be doing the warp separately. I don't know why I made that decision. Did I do that with my previous one? Hey, let me double check. Always check your work, everybody. Always check your work. Face rotation. Eyes, eyes, nose, mouth, face, and ear. Yeah, ear is inside the X. Oh, how did I miss that? All right, there we go. Have everything. Make sure, it's covering the ear as well. So even though I have the side hair and back hair inside here, um, in the y-axis, I'm not going to cover them in here because we're going to do those separately. <laughs> There's a lot of things we're going to do separately. You will find. Good thing. Try this again. Actually, let me move the warp, the entire warp. Oh fuck, hang on. I just realized I didn't put in the parameter. <laughs> okay. Make sure we have this one. There. Move it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There we go. Okay. Now we're gonna go back up here and we can go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Wait. Seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Oh shit, wait, this is even numbers. That means. Okay, hang on, let me redo this. It has to be an odd number for this to work properly, so let's go down to 7 by 7. Okay, so now that it's 7 by 7, <laughs> you can see that this middle line doesn't actually ha have like the have a point because if you have it on an even number what happens is it, it ends up having this little ridge in the middle <laughs> and you don't want that ridge it looks really weird One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Mm, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Mm, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And one, two, three. Four. Okay, so we're still doing the up thing. We're gonna take the corners. We're gonna move this back. Oh shit! And basically, we're making like this, this arc shape. We'll put a ruler in here so we can actually a little more exact here. Basically. 
basically we're going to tilt it all this way. And the thing is, 3D object doesn't just go bleh, you know? Like, you've seen some models where it looks like really flat object is happening. That's because they, they went like, they went like this. You know, like now it looks like a flat thing, but we don't want it to look flat. Sorry, not 3D model, 2D models. With 3D designers, um, they don't have to worry about this. Instead, they have to worry a lot more about the physical and <laughs> components and stuff. Tilting backwards, we now need to tilt this one as well. And of course, I've got to put on a Y axis, like always. So we're just gonna have to uh, undo all the work that we just put in there. I think this works. Just gonna adjust this a little bit. One thing I tend to do is like I tilt it up a little too much sometimes.
Yeah, why is making my own model so difficult? When I was making Leos, I was like, oh my god, I'm on a roll! I'm unstoppable! And now I'm doing my own, I'm like, Jesus Christ, why is this so difficult? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, goodness, goodness. <sighs> Side. But here back is not part of. No, it is part of the y axis. And hair side. Yeah. No, oh, where's my tail? What is happening with my tail? Is that my tail? I think that's my tail. Yeah, that's my tail. Alright. Um something weird is happening with my tail, I think. Get rid of the dress first. Alright, that's all we need to do with it for the tail. Um, just to adjust it and make sure it's not doing anything weird. I didn't notice it was doing anything weird earlier, but I wasn't looking at the whole thing, so... I tilt my head. I don't think I make my hood tilt that big. But oh, fucking Christ! Oh my god! <laughs> Sometimes when you misclick, funny happens. And by funny, I mean, oh my good god. How cursed can you get? <laughs> I don't like it that much. We do it. Okay, guys, I'm gonna go on a short break. I gotta see what my dog is up to. And when we come back, we'll redo the head tilt upwards. See you guys in a bit. Uh, you can use Motion Array to improve your videos fast. For example, you can create a professional opener just like this. As a content creator, I can choose from thousands of different assets to improve my videos. How about some snow overlay on your epic drone shot? Or maybe just the perfect sound effects. It has never been easier to be a content creator. Check that motion right now.
Kit Kat Scary Friends Break Back From Beyond with some happy haunted fun. Everybody, oh, God, drink some water. Oh my God. Okay, so I got some hot water here. It's it's really hot. Oh my God. I'm really scared. I might burn myself, but like I, I didn't. Oh, it's so nice and soothing for my throat. Yeah, let me turn on the light in my room. <laughs> it's so dark. Why am I sitting in the darkness? <laughs> I'm just sitting in the dark, making my my anime face move. <laughs> oh my god. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, 
And now we bend. We bend it all in there together. Make like this circular shape once again. This shape. Oh, I can go down more this way. drink more hot water. <sighs> nice and soothing. Now we'll do the reverse because now we're doing the tilting down. Six. Ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wait, I think I fucked that up. <laughs> I, I'm not gonna. You know what? It's okay. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna... <laughs> I'm not gonna worry too much about that. Oh, okay. I'm gonna tilt the head down. Move this up. And much in the same way we did up top, we're gonna do it down here as well. Make sure this curves, because we are not a flat object, we are a round object! Are we? <laughs>
That's good. Hang on. Oh my god, guys, we can tilt our head up and down. Nod. Excellent. Oh my god, I almost burnt myself. Ugh. I wasn't careful that time. I, hubris. Hubris got to me. Did it, you guys? We did it. All right. Now I have to double check our work. As always, we tilt our head up. We look at our mouth forms. Does it look strange? Does it look strange? No. Tilt our head down. Strange. No. Okay. Good. Perfect. And then we do our eyes because. This part usually never fucks up. Like, this part is pretty simple, so it, like, almost never does anything weird. But this... Okay. Perfect. <laughs> Eyebrows, we don't really care because it, it doesn't fuck up at all. Majority of the time. This may be hubris, but... <gasps> the worms! The worm eyebrows! <laughs> okay. So we have... So now we have to put these two together and double check. Okay. Now, you may notice something weird is going on with the neck, and you would be correct. <laughs> and so this is going back to the Z axis right here. Um, do you see how when we tilt and this doesn't really do anything, but then we go like this and we, it reveals the neck? Well, <laughs> we're gonna fix that now. Um... Uh... Where's the neck? Is the neck warp right here? Okay, so going back to the Z. We're gonna take this, select only this half, perfect, and we tilt it. And then you go. Do, 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 do. Okay, I might have fucked that up. Maybe, maybe just the top one? Wait, what is the division? Oh, it's five by five. Oh, shit. Okay, um, erasing that. I'm going eight by eight. Make our parameters here. And again, tilt it. Okay, let's try again. We do the reverse this time, actually. Selecting these points is really difficult when they like overlap with each other. It's freaking annoying. Oh right, the neck accessories in this one too. That's why it's almost also warping. That's why. Okay, um, clearing this. We just want the neck warp, not the neck accessories. Oh, yeah. 
Oh fuck, did I fuck up the Z angle? I did. <laughs> I erased it from existence! Alright, back to here. And tilt our head. Oh fuck, this is the neck. It's the neck rotator. <laughs> there we go, that's the right one. <laughs> oh my god, maybe I should just go sleep. I've been wanting to go to sleep since I woke up this morning. I sure don't want to go all the way to 15. Maybe I just want 10. No, I want 15. No, I want 12. Actually, I want 12. We need 13. You know what? It's October. Let's do 13. 13 is a very good number, right, guys? I hear it's very lucky this time of the year. Woohoo! So let's do 13. All right. That's weird. Yeah, let me take off these accessories for a second so I can actually see what's going on down here when I warp it. It's really hard to do something when it doesn't Clearly, when you can't see it, you know what I mean? Like, I want to be able to see what you're doing. What? Why is it transforming all that? Control Z all this because that was weird. I think the neck warp isn't connecting to everything. Hang on. I'm gonna zoom out here, holding down control. Oh my god, because I haven't given them a mesh. That's why. Oh my god, okay. This is the part where I'm lazy. I'm just gonna hold all these together and I'm gonna go mesh. Nope, cancel. Auto mesh. There we go. I was like, why is it doing that weird thing? Because I didn't mesh them. That's why I skipped a step because I was lazy and I didn't mesh them. So here they are. Now they're all meshed. All right, time for the boring stuff, you guys. Or maybe this could be exciting for you. I don't know. You guys find this exciting or really, really boring? Honestly, the accessory, I don't really care all that much about it being accurate. Like, work, it, it being able to work is fine. You know what I mean? Like, the fact that it's able to function the way I want it to function means it's okay. Means it's okay.
I actually care about like how these two would um, move. I would separate them into two different components. That way I could like make them move and like overlap and stuff but again <laughs> this accessory here isn't all that important. It's like if you look at my scarf, that background thing, it's not that important. <laughs> So I'm just doing it this way. I was wondering like what was going on like why wasn't turning so weirdly and I realized I didn't mesh anything down here. None of this has been meshed yet. Uh, and this is why a lot of people like do meshes all at once so they don't have to think about it later. But I'm an idiot so I'm a uh, I'm gonna do it the idiot way you guys. <laughs> Listen intelligence is never my forte. This is good jam. So honestly, because I played piano growing up, I think any piano, any music with a bit of piano in there just makes me go, that's a good jam. <laughs> you know, like I'm biased. I, I will not deny it. I am biased. I am biased. Pianos are, are beautiful. Jesus Christ. There's the booba. Are we doing booba today? Sure, why not? No, that's not let's not do booba. Let's not do booba today just yet. All of these freaking mess, man. <laughs> like this, this computer or this. Sorry, this program has um. It's not a bad program. Like it does what it's supposed to, but sometimes it's like, can you do a little more? 
Okay, I'm just gonna race everything around it. Hi again, Blue Dragon. Thank you for the hearts. Did you have a nice break, Blue Dragon? Did you have a nice break? I know, I had a nice break. I pet my dog. That's right, I pet my doggo. I want to pet my doggo. He was such a good doggo. He is still a good doggo. I, I don't know why he said that in the past tense, like... He's no longer a good doggo or something. He, he is! He is still a good doggo! He's been a good doggo for a really long time. Like, when you mesh these things properly, they end up doing a very good job, but if you don't, it's like... What have you? been here the entire time you were here all along what were you playing you were playing forza horizon nice this is fun is it a fun game what do you do in horror uh For forza forza horizon what do you do what do you do in that game It's a racing game. The only racing game I know how to play is uh, <laughs> Mario Kart. Uh, I guess the most well known racing game in the world. For reals, though, Mario Kart 
has always been like a family favorite, I think. Also, I really should clean up these lines more. Like, I, I don't know what it is, but when I do commissions for people, I make sure I clean up everything. But then when I make something for myself, I'm like, eh, 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 I'll do this later, eh. <laughs> and then later, I'm just like, why am I stupid? <laughs> So this is the first time in this playthrough playthrough. <laughs> Not even this commission, um, this project that I am going to be doing glow. And hopefully I don't fuck it up too badly. I want to be able to show you guys the awesome wonders of this um ability. Shoulder. I'm going to pick some of these lines together. Okay, and then we just want to trace this area outside here. Honestly, I should have redone this part by hand, but I did not. <laughs> points upwards actually oh, shit hang on wait no this is a good opportunity to fix this part I just realized and though this thread looks very nicely done like this web is mm -mm, gorgeous it is in fact not gorgeous because it does not remember to do this thing these two lines needs to be Actually, this one is pretty much hidden underneath here, so... I'm gonna try and stick to like this original thing here as much as possible, but... This one is gonna be seen though. Like, this is outside of the... Oops! Outside of the collar. So people- oh, Jesus see this one. Take care of this first. I can actually see, get rid of the bell as well. And the shine. Get a new headset tomorrow? Nice! 
Nice, nice, nice. What's happening with your current headset? Is it not doing its job? Mm -mm. Headset not doing its job. Being a good headset. I get a new one. Uh, bend the cork to talk with people? Oh, uh, The mic is at the wrong place, is it? <sighs> Drink my water.
Now we're gonna bind them together. I'm gonna take this lasso tool. Hit bind. You see all these points? Yeah, that's why we were making them overlap, because these points now bind together, and when this is deformed, it deforms with this. And we're gonna do this with the arms as well later on. Ah, <sighs> work, work, work. Alright, let's try this again with the Z angle. <laughs> Technically, we don't need to do all that just yet for the... Neck wrap, but yeah, see, now it's actually holding firm and it's not doing some weird shit. I was like, what the fuck is happening? Why was it doing that? Did not understand what I was looking at here or there, rather. Oh, wait, hold on. Um... Thing is, later on, I do need to use this for the X warp. So, actually, no. Basically, just tilt it over until, like, this thing is straight again. And basically, you have, like, this little arch upwards. Like this. Do you see? And so the neck just bends with it. And so later on when you turn your head this way, when we turn our head like this, look! Oh! See how good that is? Yay! Yay! Oh, hello, Gamanda the butt eater! <laughs> <laughs> welcome, welcome, yeah! Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the cookie jar. I hope you enjoy your time here. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Pardon my groping very weird. The weather here has changed from very summery hot to dreadfully cold. We are fully in autumn now, guys. At least in Canada, it's fully in autumn. Oh god, when I breathe in... I actually feel a bit of sting in the back of my throat. <laughs> Just gonna drink some hot water. <laughs> Soothe my throat a little more. Yeah. Okay, and so now we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. We're gonna tilt it. And then we're gonna move it over. And we're gonna tilt it again. And we're gonna move it over. And then we're gonna tilt it- Oh, wait, hold on. Um, gonna move it more over. Then we're gonna tilt it here from this point on. Move it all the way over. I think that's it. Tilt this one. Actually, did I tilt? Oh, I don't think I tilted that lord. Hang on. Let's redo this one. Let's redo this one, guys. Let's tilt a little bit. Move it over. Tilt a little bit. Move it over. Just remember, it's all gonna become one big tilt. You know, like when you're in the middle of an Apex match and then... <laughs> you're just mad at your teammate. Yeah, that's how tilted we're gonna be. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Don't be tilted, okay? Have fun. That's what video games are for. You know? <sighs> I'm very curious. Gunman, are you still there? Because I'm very curious about your name. I, I tried to ignore it for a little bit, but now I'm like... Actually, I'm kind of curious. <laughs> like, what, uh, what made you uh, keep this name? Or create this name. Like, what is the story behind it? Woo!
Now we're gonna check our work one more time. <gasps> Bother our heads. Making sure our eyeballs are working. Mm-hmm. Perfect. Brows. <laughs> do, you, do you guys should make it higher up, actually? Hang on. I feel like it should be higher up. You guys like my how how high my my eyebrows float? Hmm. <laughs> there we go. More expression. Alright, without further ado, we're gonna go on to the x-axis. Actually, it's 6 o'clock. Um, I'm probably going to start up a little bit on it, and then tomorrow we'll finish up the x-axis on the face, and we'll be able to move on to the body. And after the body, we're pretty much done and can do the boobas. <laughs> and, uh, as always, I'm gonna do more of the meshing behind the scenes because it's really boring. But uh, yeah, I think that's uh, pretty much it for our model here. Um, I can't think of anything else. Oh yeah, the hat. That's right, I forgot about the hat. Okay, so... Obviously that's not affected. Okay, so I have to do the hat as well for the y-axis. Yeah, let me put this in the y-warp. And see how that changes it. Mmm. Yeah, okay. So with the hat, I'm also going to have to glue these two pieces. I'm going to do that behind the scene. And you guys can see the result next time. For now, we're going to end it here for today. As you can see behind me is the Dead by Daylight collab I have with my friends. If you want more information, please check out my Twitter. Um, I have posted it up on there already. All my friends have... Uh, I think they've all got it on there too. They should have. <laughs> if not, it would be very awkward. <laughs> well, I hope to see you guys next time. I hope you enjoy. Again, thank you for the follow. Um, okay. Uh, Gaman, the butt eater. <laughs> 121, thank you, thank you for the follow. And Blue Dragon, thank you for always being here. I mean, you're very consistent. You are very consistent. Without uh, further ado, I bid you guys farewell. Bye-bye for now. Bye!